So uh, right off, I'd just like to learn from you, what are your typical God experiences, if you will, with the soldiers that you come into contact with? And by God experiences, I mean, are they saved or not saved? Or do you find that they need prayer a lot? Or are they uh, repentant a lot? Just what are your experiences with them overall on a day-to-day -day basis? That's a few different questions. Let me uh, try to address them one at a time. Uh, basically, I think our soldiers are generally uh, of the younger population. They're, they're a representative of the cross-section of America. Uh, they're generally younger. I'd say 18 to 24 years of age, generally uh, single, but a large percentage are married, probably newly married, uh, with young children. Uh, and so they have challenges that, that any either single or newly married with young children folks might, might face. Now, in addition to that here, they are physically separated. Some are in more physical danger than others, uh, but all of them uh, are in, could use prayer, are in need of prayer, either to uh, maintain those relationships with back home with those they love, or for uh, spiritual or physical uh, protection on the physical or spiritual battlefields of our, of our world here. Does that answer your question, ma'am? Yes, sir, it answers my question completely. Could you elaborate a little bit more on the uh, last part of what you said, the physical and spiritual battles that they fight? How do you help them contend with the spiritual battles that they fight? And if, do you think something like the messenger and what I've described would be helpful to them? Okay, if you talk about spiritual battles, I think, again, they're, they're rather common here as they would be back in the United States or anywhere else. I mean, the young folks growing up, even old folks growing up, uh, have different issues that come across their life. And the question always is, how do you deal with those issues? Uh, whether it be a physical trauma, whether it be an emotional trauma, or just the daily challenges of life and of being separated from those that you're comfortable with and that you love for a long period of time. If I understood you right, the messenger is a series of sermons uh, on some, some sort of device or some sort of media. Uh, that all would sound good and what would be especially helpful if you could relate that to the, the physical and spiritual challenges that a soldier might face today. If the soldiers, are in, and by soldier I mean also marines and airmen, sailors and folks like that, and even civilians here, if that's your target audience, uh, it would be very helpful. Uh, especially if it if it met their needs. Yes, sir, you did understand me correctly. That is exactly it. It's a portable solar system device that they'll be able to click on and off whenever they want to. And we believe it would meet their needs, their spiritual needs, as far as you're describing the warfare that they face. And like you said, that we face back here. And Dr. Stanley is just known for his practical teaching. So along those lines, is that what they look for as far as just things to help them, spiritual things that would help them day to day? I would say absolutely yes. Uh, you asked initially, uh, am I saved or not saved, Christian or non-Christian? And as you would reflect, as the military reflects the cross-section of America, you're dealing with predominantly non-Christians or young Christians. And so, compounded with that is the is the I would say the black and white realities of life and death on the battlefields of Iraq today. Again, not everyone faces this, but a whole lot of folks do. So you want to be pretty basic, you want to be pretty black and white, you want to be pretty candid uh, with some of the issues of the day and some of the practical applications. Um, and if you can do that, then that would be a good product. And if you can market it or present it in a way that someone picking it up knows that it is candid, basic, practical hope and help for today and tomorrow, then that would be a, a very good thing. Excellent. Then we're excited to hear that. And I heard you say briefly, sir, to begin that you were familiar with Dr. Stanley and In Touch Ministries here. And just based on that familiarity, do you think that would fit into those lines? Or what would you say 
about uh, them receiving the messages for him, how helpful do you think they would be just understanding Dr. Stanley on the lines that you do? I think it would be helpful if they are heard. The, the trick will be to get them to be heard. And the way to do that is to meet a need. Uh, I find that people tend to respond to things that meet their needs. Again, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual needs. And if it is presented in such a way, it would be very helpful. Hi. Excellent, Oscar. Thank you so much. Beyond victory, sir, what would be your prayer request for the soldiers or the war or just where you all right now, where you all are right now with the war? What, what would be your prayer request of here? Oh, basically, that I would pray that, that every service member and civilian here would grow closer in a relationship with Jesus Christ. For some folks, they don't have a clue and they'll move a little closer and maybe one day come to Christ. For those who are young in their faith, that they would mature some. And for those who are mature, that they would uh, move into an area of ministry, either here or when they get back home. Excellent. Well, I thank you so much again. I can't thank you enough um, for your time this morning. Is there anything on your heart or anything you would like to ask before we close? Well, we certainly appreciate your prayers. Um, I'm sure you all are praying in, um, in general and specific ways, and that is not unnoticed. That is not uh, unappreciated. It is very appreciated and very noticed. Uh, it is as much a spiritual conflict here as, uh, as physical and as it would be in the United States. Uh, so your prayers are very important. We appreciate that and, and encourage you to do that. And along the lines of uh, supporting your individual service members through this or other means, all, all that is a good thing. It's good to know that uh, we are appreciated and that the sacrifice we're making uh, is not in vain. Uh, a lot of us have been doing this for a while, and so it, it, it's good to know that, uh, that someone, one, knows that, and two, appreciates it. Yes, sir, you're certainly appreciated. I would look at service, your service that you do for the country and the world, a lot like ministry. It, it, it appears that it goes unnoticed a lot, but believe me, in the hearts of all of the Americans that I talk to, we certainly appreciate you, and we are praying for you, and we wish God's best for you and a speedy and safe return home. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am.